Hey there, Marquis here. Thank you for clicking through. Today I'm gonna to be walking you through one of Asana's newest features called Overview. Now this past week they just released uh, a few other new features and updates, a small update uh, to their dashboards, and they've also changed you know, the, the former conversations to messages. But for today's video, I'm gonna be focusing solely on Overview because I think it's a great update. It's gonna help a lot of project managers to stay organized, a lot of teams to stay aligned, and so I'm gonna walk you through that today. But let's jump into it here. Um, I'm really excited about this update because up until now, project managers and teams have had to really um, just get creative in how they do their briefs or their charters within Asana. And with this new overview tab, it's it's simply another view is all it is. And so we have the list view, which we're, we're used to, to seeing. Um, I have another video actually on the different views of Asana. I'll link to it um, up there. And we have our board view, timeline, calendar, you know, nothing new here. But with overviews, or before I even get there, I'll tell you kind of what, you know, we've been doing uh, up until this point. And so typically in any project, um, it's not in this one, but what we would do is just create a project brief, right? And so I can link to that template another time, but it would basically have everything that we need in the project. There's you know, um, the description of the project, there's the objectives, there's the stakeholders, there's the assets, there's the timeline, all of those kinds of things. Risk management, it's all there, or risk mitig mitigation, sorry. It's all there. But now, Asana's added in this feature where at a glance, anyone on the team can come right to the overview and see what's going on. So let's dive into it. Um, off the top, I will say that um, um, we're used to seeing milestones um, in the progress or the status update section. And what they've actually done is removed the, as you can see, there's no more progress. There's no more status here. Um, they've moved it all to this overview tab. So milestones now live here. Your, um, your status updates now live here. You can have your, your due dates. All your messages will show up in here. And so any changes that happen within the project, the overview, as far as status or communication goes, will show up now in this sidebar, which I think is really cool that it's all in one spot. Um, you can set it really easily, ask for status updates, whatever you need to. And so pretty um, simple off the top they're kind of showing you how to use it, right? So if you click on show examples, this can be a space where you welcome people, right? Are you doing onboarding? Is this an, is this an event? Are you doing a launch? Um, or is this a meeting or a summit that you're doing? Whatever the case may be. And is this just a general communication channel? And so they're kind of giving you some ideas as how we can use it. But for today, I'm just gonna use you know our example. We're doing a video today where I'm showing you what overview looks like. Um, and I've only gone through this uh, you know a few times. So if you have seen other use cases you think are cool, um, please let me know. Um, so how are we gonna collaborate? You know, well, <clears throat> use this space to um, talk about everything that is overview right it can be really simple so you want people to be able to come into a brief or a section like this and get a really good understanding of what is happening in this space and how we're using it one thing that i love is that you can see the project roles now you know at a glance and so i'm here i'm the project owner i got ditto ditto here we can add a role so what is ditto going to do he's going to duplicate he's a duplicator um there we go no of course not don't know how to spell. There we go. He's a duplicator. Um, Prison Mike, what does he do? He's an enforcer, right? Um, maybe he's keeping everyone on track. Um, Monica, what is she doing? She is um, client management. Who knows, right? And so you can assign the roles really quickly. It's all right here. And then what I really love about this is that they've added in a project brief, finally. And so you can come in, you can... Um, you have your title and they've given you some prompts in the side here. So not only is this like a, a WYSIWYG editor, but you can, you know, have, you know, predetermined headlines and sections for this project brief. So if I wanted to, I could put a title and I can make that an H1, H2. I can bold it, you know, underline whatever I need to do um, to make it work. And we can also insert links in this section. We can insert emojis. We can add a section break images, media, 
But for the purpose of this, I'm just gonna do exactly what they want us to. So you just, I'm gonna drag this executive summary over in two sentences. What is this project about? This project is a walkthrough of the new overview feature. That's it, right? Background. Um, prior to this, we had to get creative with how to deliver <clears throat> project briefs and charters. And project managers are very happy about this new feature. Um, problem statement. So whatever that is, I'm not going to go through it all today. Basically, you can just bring over if there are, is a proposed solution so we have a high level understanding of how the project generally should go. We can pull that in just like so. You know, again, it does risk mitigation really well um, by just like calling it out. And so I like these prompts because it's getting you to think about these things as well. Um, but then a cool feature we can do, we can add in um, our subtext here. Um, we can go watch this video, right? And then once we click down, we can either click on the plus here or we can just go insert. So I'm gonna go media for now and let's go to, let's go to YouTube. Maybe I should have had one of these ready. Let's just pull in the first YouTube video that comes up. Great, we got some Chris Doe here. If you're not following Chris Doe, you're missing out. So there we go. So it embeds it straight into the project in a really nice inline uh, manner. So if you need to call something out, it's right there. You don't have to send them anywhere. And of course, your it, social media is not your portfolio. It plays right in the editor as well. Um, if we go back, we can add in images. So I'll pull this one, first one that popped up. There we go, and there is that image as well. So this is really cool. Obviously, like if if there's a link, you can you can add to it. So if you want to give an instructional or an overview of the project, you can add a loom. Or if you're working collaboration with your design team, you can add a Figma board in here. Um, if you're on Miro, like we use Miro at Ditto all the time and love it. And so you can have you know process maps here. Um, whatever the case may be and work in collaboration in that space. And so I think they've done a really great job of creating this. And once you're done, you just click on done and it, you know, puts, it creates this nice little designed inline um, project brief here and it calls it out. So here's the project brief. If you need to click back into it, you can click back into it. There you go. And if you have edit capabilities, you can go edit and just update stuff as you go along. And the great thing is it stays in one place. Um, the second thing that I like about this new feature among all the other features is you can attach files right here. So we work in G Suite, so you can attach and upload a single file, a PDF, or you can link directly to a drive like you would do in, um, like you would do in, <clears throat> in the project space. And so, here we go. If we were to pull something in, I can just pull that one in really quickly. It just gives you a link so you can click directly to that spot in your Google Drive. You can click to Dropbox. Um, you can click right to a file. So I think they've done a great job here of this um, to create you know, clarity for teams. Um, there's so much more that we can do. So I'd love to hear from you. What do you think? Did you, do you like it? Do you hate it? Are they missing some stuff? Um, what's great about Asana is they're always looking for feedback as well. And because this is so early stages, if you hate it, let them know. Right? Product developers are waiting to get this feedback so they can continue to update the, 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 the new features. So love to hear what you think about it. If you got value out of this, please like the video, share it with someone that you know. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be putting out more stuff like this about Asana. And as we expand our partner base, um, there's gonna be more videos coming. If you're interested in HubSpot, if you are you know, working in Pandadoc or other automation tools, we're gonna, we're gonna be exploring a lot more of those in the future. So please subscribe. If you have questions or wanna see anything specific, leave a comment, send me an email. Here's my email. Hopefully my editing skills are okay. Um, send me an email, ask a question. We'd love to uh, chat more about it. But thanks for watching for today and I hope you found this video helpful and insightful. We'll talk to you next time, bye.